Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing a video which has actually been quite requested for a very long time but I've been brushing it off because I've been like, why would I want a video like that? But now, if I think about it, a video like this would be so helpful for me <laughs> because I've run out of TV programs to watch. I'm going to tell you about all the TV programs that I've watched and what I think of them and give them like some kind of rating. I have them all written on my laptop. I have watched a large majority of TV programs. So I'm just going to give you like a bit of feedback on what I think of TV programs because I know a lot of people always ask me for my advice on them, which I think is um, a good and a bad thing because one, everyone knows I just watch TV quite a lot, but it's because I do art and I draw while I watch. So I have this giant list of TV programs that I have watched. I've probably missed a few out. I have watched a lot, so yeah, but could you please tell me some new TV programs to watch down below because I'm struggling to find a new one to watch and you'll be able to see what kind of TV programs I like based on my list. So I'm just gonna get started otherwise this video is going to be like 10 hours long. <laughs> the first one I have written down is Pretty Little Liars. I'm pretty sure most people have heard of this TV program. It is about four girls who best friend has died and gone missing kind of thing and they start getting mysterious texts from someone called A and it's all it's like a mysterious kind of teenage program. The beginning of the seasons are very cringy. It, it's a little bit of a cringy program but I like a bit of cringe and then towards the last like season the last season it's very more it's a lot more intense and it's a lot more murder mystery kind of thing. It's not as pretty and girly as the first season. I would give Pretty Little Liars probably a rating of like 6 out of 10. It's not, mm, it's good but it's not as good as everyone says it is, in my opinion obviously, this is just my opinion. <laughs> Some of you are probably like wanting to kill me right now because they absolutely love this show. I completely see why you would love this show. It's a very cringy teenage program to watch and all the girls are very good looking in it. It's definitely something you can get into, I've watched it twice. The next one I have written down is Faking It. I love Faking It so much. Faking It is about two best friends who pretend to be lesbians. Again, the very start of this, it sounds very weird. They pretend to be lesbians, to be popular, but it's just a more better program than just that. <laughs> it's all about gay rights, gender rights, like everything is so good for this generation of being brought up into this, like, society because it teaches you the wrongs and rights of what to call people and you know things like that and they just keep covering loads of things there's bisexuals there's lesbians there's straight it's just amazing i love the program so much it's karma and amy and they are both beautiful like they are so stunning and so lovely i just really like the show it's from mtv and i would probably give it a nine out of ten yeah, I'll probably give it a 9 out of 10. It's again very cringy, but it's like not a girly cringy, it's just a bit cringy sometimes. But if you like teenage romance kind of things, this is the one for you because it is, it's so good. I've watched it four times now, I think, like all the way through. It's very easy to watch because they're only 20 minutes long and there's two seasons, I want to say. There's only two seasons. They're filming a third one now. Um, definitely worth the watch if you want to watch something. The next one I've written down is Finding Carter, which again is another MTV show, and I love Finding Carter. If you've watched Skins, it is Emily from Skins as the main character Carter, and it's about Carter being missing. <laughs> Basically, Finding Carter. See, the thing is, with this video, it's hard not to give too much away. Like, you want to go watch it, but it's hard to explain it without giving too much away but making you want to go watch it. Finding Carter is a more teenage based TV program but it's not cringy if that makes sense so it's very like love and friendships and you know things like that, family but there's also a lot of drama in it, there's a fighting, guns, blood, guts it's not actually that bad but <laughs> yeah they're trying to find Carter who is this girl who's been kidnapped kind of thing and it's all very interesting I very much love finding Carter and it's I think 
the season four just finished now. I finished watching it the other day. So intense. It's such an intense program at times. And I just really love it. I would give it an eight out of 10, probably. Yeah, I'd probably give it like an eight out of 10. Next, of course, I have Skins written down. If you didn't know, Skins is my all time favorite TV program. I haven't watched it for about a year though, so. Skins is basically another teenage based TV program. As you can tell, I love my teenage based programs and films and stuff like that. It's about teenagers partying, drinking, drugs, mental issues. It kind of covers pretty much a lot of teenage stuff. <laughs> There's season one and two, which is generation one, which is a whole set of characters. Season three and four, which is another set of characters, and season five and six, which is another set of characters, and season seven brings back some characters, so it's like a future kind of thing, um, like what happens now, because it is quite an old program, I think. Well, I say quite an old, it's been like 10 years or something. <laughs> I definitely recommend you go and watch that because it's my favorite program. 10 out of 10 for me because I love it. I know every word. I wish I was joking. My favorite seasons are three and four, which is the second generation. And that is with Effie. You've probably heard of Effie, who is Kaya, who is in the Maze Runner. It's just all different stories but it all links kind of together. I feel like some of the stories are very realistic in life and some of them are very unrealistic but I think that's like a good combination you need when it comes to a TV program because if it's just completely realistic it's a bit like oh you need a bit of unrealistic stuff in there so I definitely recommend Skins because it is so good. It is on Netflix go watch it but don't watch season seven because it will destroy you and I hate it and I pretend it never happened. <laughs> the next TV program is Awkward. I'm re-watching Awkward right now as we speak. Awkward is about a teenage girl. Oh my god what a surprise. A teenage girl in high school kind of thing. Uh, she's in love with this guy called Maddie. Uh, it's Jenna, the girl, and then there's Matty. Maddie, Maddie, Maddie. I say Maddie really weirdly, I just realised that. And she's just in love with him from afar, but she's a little bit of someone who is out of it. Like, she's not popular, he is. And it's just very much love, romance, that kind of thing. If you love teeny romance kind of stuff, this is the programme for you because it's so good and it's very cringy but in like a jokey way. Not cringy as in you sit there like, ugh, it's just like funny jokes that are quite cringy. I would give it an 8 out of 10, probably. I've watched it three times through. Mm, I've watched everything like three times through. Definitely recommend Awkward because it is a good program and it's like, it's not a sad one, it just makes you feel good. Next is Teen Wolf, another one of my favourites, which is about teenagers in high school. <laughs> I have like this thing that all teenagers in high school. I didn't realize that. Um, <laughs> as you can probably tell, the main character is a teen wolf. Who would have known? But it's not as cringy as it sounds. It's very funny, and Tyler Posey's in it, and Dylan O'Brien, and he's beautiful. I love Dylan O'Brien, and Holland Roden, and the cast, the whole entire cast is beautiful and it's all very like intense and it's a lot more darker than what you probably think it would be like. I'm not a fan of werewolves and vampires and stuff like that but Teen Wolf is so good. I absolutely love it. Like I love it to pieces. It's one of those ones that you can binge watch. My favourite season is the one with Void Styles. If you have watched it you know what I'm talking about. Just watch it for that because oh my God, it was so good, it makes up my life. I don't really know how to explain it other than there's a lot of like mythical creatures in it, but that just makes it sound really bad. It's really not bad. I definitely tell you to go watch Teen Wolf. It's like a, I wanna say a nine out of 10. Next I have American Horror Story. I'm sure you've all heard of American Horror Story and it's not about teenagers in high school. Well, it kind of is the first season. First season uh, is very good. I really, really, really love the first season and I hate horror. I can't watch horror films. I hate them so much, but I can watch American Horror Story. So if you're worried about being scared, honestly, the first and second season are quite scary compared to the other seasons. The other seasons to me aren't that good, to be honest. Um, I never finished Freak Show and I've stopped watching Hotel halfway through it. First season is 
amazing. I go, I'm gonna tell you all just to go watch the first season. I would give the first season like a 9 out of 10, maybe an 8 out of 10, like around the top of that. And then the other seasons I would give like a 5. It's alright to watch, but it's not like, wow, this is amazing. And the new season's a bit like, there's no storyline and you don't really know what's going on. But yeah, the first season has Tate and Violet. Tate is this boy. I don't know how to explain it without giving it away because it's very much one of those things where it can give it away. But basically Violet has moved into this new house which is haunted. It's so good. Go and watch it for Tate and Violet because yes. My Mad Fat Diary again is one of my favourite TV programmes. It's a British TV programme from Channel 4 E4. It has about three seasons with like six episodes in each one which is so frustrating because it was such a good program and it finished so quickly. Um, it's about this girl called Ray and she's a tubbier girl. I hate saying that but that is like the point of my mad fat diary and she's got like mental health issues and stuff and it's just it's not a draining one it's very uplifting in a way it's very much again teenagers in school love romance but it's very realistic like I can relate to Ray on so many levels I absolutely love it and it just covers a lot of mental health stuff that, which I think is quite helpful for some people as well and Finn is absolutely beautiful I really fancy Finn it's set in the 19 oh 70s or 60s something like that um, but it's not what you think like it's not grainy or anything it's all filmed now but it's just set back then and I just really love the program uh, quite funny as well so I would give it a 9 out of 10 I would say it's a very good program I really did enjoy it next written down I have Dino 210 which I'm sure most of you have heard of it's finished now but again it's teenagers in high school um, this is set in LA in Beverly Hills and it's about I don't know there's no like main characters but I think the main character is Annie who has just moved from Wisconsin I believe and they're trying to fit in and loads of drama happens it's very much again a cringy teenage program which is very predictable with love and re relationships and family issues and I don't know it's just very enjoyable like it's really really enjoyable it doesn't sound it when I'm like explaining these but it is definitely yeah I would give it probably an 8 out of 10 yeah 8 out of 10. Next written down I have Misfits. I used to love Misfits when I was younger. It, like obviously I would still love it now, I just haven't watched it in a while. Uh, Misfits is about a group of people, again this is going to sound really weird and cringy but it's really not. They get hit by lightning and they get like these superpowers but it's just, it's not a superhero kind of thing. I, I'm not into that kind of stuff. They get these superpowers and they mess up things more than save people. And it's just very entertaining. Again, it has a bit of love in it and stuff like that. But it's quite a humorous program. Very enjoyable. And Nathan in it is beautiful. Like, if you're going to watch it, watch it for Nathan. He's so good looking. This is also on Netflix. Um, I would probably rate it an 8 or 9 out of 10. I know I'm rating these all very high, but that's because I like the TV programs. If I don't like a TV program within like the first episode, I don't watch it anymore. Yeah, Misfits is definitely one you should go check out. I think it's just one of those ones that most people are gonna enjoy. Next I have written down is Gossip Girl. Gossip Girl is a bit of an uh for me because you go, you watch the program and you hate every character at one point in the show. You probably all know what Gossip Girl is, but if you do not, it is about a group of people in high school. Uh, yeah, and there's this blog called Gossip Girl and they keep writing like scandalous stories about this girl called Serena Vanderwoodson. You know, just like a, a whole group of friends and it could be one of those, but you don't know who it is. I actually did know who it was in the first episode because it was really obvious. It's very cringy, very relationship kind of thing, like very relationship kind of thing. Like the whole thing is based around that, um, about friendships and yeah, just be prepared to hate every character at some point in the program because you do hate everyone at one point. But it is quite good. I would give it like a 6.57 out of 10 rating, probably. 
Um, it's all right, but it's not like amazing. The next one I have written down is The Vampire Diaries. The Vampire Diaries was all right, I guess. Uh, I watched it up to season four, I wanna say. It was okay, again, it's about teenagers in high school, but they're vampires and there's werewolves and stuff, but it's a lot more cringier than what Teen Wolf is. Teen Wolf is more action-packed, Vampire Diaries is more based on love. And I don't know, it was very cringy for me and it was all right. And then it just got way too cringy and I had to stop watching it and I haven't watched it since. So I would probably give it like a four out of 10 probably. Cause it was good, but it wasn't like, I wanna keep watching it kind of TV program. But it depends if you really love vampire and werewolves and stuff like that, that is definitely the program for you. If you love all the romance stuff like Twilight, I've never watched Twilight, but you know what I mean, like that kind of category, you would love that program a lot, but for me, it was just a no. The Carrie Diaries is my next one, and this show actually got like, canceled and discontinued, which is really annoying because it got left on the cliffhanger. Um, it's about Carrie Bradshaw, which is from Sex and the City, but she's younger, so it's like teenage her, kids in high school again. There seems to be a theme. It's just very much like love and friendships, but it's also very much about her wanting to get her dream job and stuff like that, and it's, it sounds cringy again. Promise you, these aren't all really, really cringy unless I say they are. And it's just a really cute program. It's just a very uplifting, cute program to watch. It's it's okay. I would give it like a seven out of 10. It's all right, you know? It's just one of those programs where you're like, that was, that was quite good. Yeah, that was all right. And Austin Butler's in it, which makes all the difference. <laughs> Next I have written down is The Fosters, which is another really good program from ABC, I think it is. Uh, the Fosters is about a foster family who like foster some kids and there's this girl called Callie and they just fostered her but there's like love romance you you get the gist it's all kind of the same thing kids in high school blah, blah, blah. but the thing with this program is they cover a lot of sexual orientations and um, transgender rights and they just the foster family the mums there's two mums so it's like lesbian mums which if you really think about it a few years ago if that was put on tv everyone would be like no get that off the tv but now it's like appreciated and you get to see that relationship and you get to see the kids relationships and there's jude and connor cute so cute they just cover a lot of that kind of stuff which i think is very helpful for teenagers yeah i'd probably give the fosters like a seven out of ten it's not very exciting but it's kind of like a good program to watch next i have written down is breaking bad and i'm sure everyone kind of knows this by now because it's like the most popular tv show like ever and i see why it's an incredibly good tv show about a guy called walter and he's found out he has cancer and he's basically gonna die that isn't giving it away by the way you know in within the first like 10 minutes about this um and he decides he wants to make some money so he joins up with one of his ex-students called jesse pinkman he's beautiful and basically they make meth together <laughs> and it's just very action-packed it's very more intense than all the other ones it's incredibly good like this is not my kind of thing i was so into it i watched it so quickly definitely recommend to anyone like no matter what you like i reckon everyone would love breaking bad i'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 yeah yeah, I'd probably give it a 10 out of 10. 9.5, 10 out of 10 kind of thing. The next I have written down is The 100. The 100, again, is about a group of teenagers, but they're not in high school. They are from outer space. <laughs> that just made it sound 10 times cringier. And basically, they come down to Earth for the first time in centuries. It's based way into the future where there's, like, no one living on land anymore because basically they have their oxygen left in the aircraft so they've all had to come down to land and um, they're trying to figure out if it's safe or not for them to be there and it's again action-packed quite action-packed but it's again very much like love and romance and the main character really annoys me I don't like her but <laughs> sorry for people who love this program and love her I really don't like her it's an okay program it 
it, mm, it didn't really do much for me. I would probably give it like a 5 out of 10. It was okay, it was good to like watch, but I wouldn't optionally watch the next season kind of thing. Next I have written down is Dexter. Dexter is such a good TV program, like I rave about Dexter so much to anyone who ever is like, what TV program do I watch? I always recommend Dexter. I watched Dexter in a week and it has eight seasons I want to say and they're all like an hour, like a full solid hour episode each and there's about 12 episodes in each season so you can imagine how much Dexter I watched in that one week. Um, it is such a good TV program, again it is on Netflix, it's about a guy called Dexter who works in forensics, in blood spatter, in Miami Metro in America and he's also a serial killer but he's not just like a normal serial killer he kills people who do bad things so as he works with the police force or the detectives um, he sorts out all the information he needs to know before like making sure that they are the ones that are bad so he will kill other like he'll kill people that rape or kill other people just something like that and he'll kill them it's a very you either love him or hate him i loved him so much i was like yes dexter yes i loved dexter so much i just love the whole entire program it's very suspenseful that's the word i'm looking for it's very like and you don't realize what's coming all the time it's like what because you don't realize something's gonna happen and then it does and you're like whoa my mind is blown very 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 good tv program definitely go watch it i'd give it a 10 out of 10 i actually would i would 100 percent give that a 10 out of 10 it was a really good program i really really enjoyed it next i have once upon a time which is a very uh, program for me i find it very very cringy it's very cringy it is about a group of fairy tale people who have been brought down into normal land like our world in storybook and they all forget that they were storybook characters kind of thing and this girl called Emma Swan comes in from her son Henry who can't act to save his life I can't stand him or her I think this is where I'm going wrong if I don't like a character I seem to not like the program as much it is quite cringy because obviously it's about fairy tales but if you love that stuff definitely for you i watch it mainly for captain hook because he's beautiful i actually really really fancy him i watched the latest season um last night like i watched it all in a day very good last season see i'm very the first season was a bit ugh. i couldn't really get into it then there was a peter pan one and i got really into it um, and then it went uh, and then this newer season I very much enjoyed it and I cried my eyes out <laughs> I don't know why I sang that yeah I would probably give it like a 6 out of 10 because I carried on watching but it was alright and that if we're talking about Captain Hook I'll give it a 9 out of 10 because he's good looking he's like the main reason I carried on watching it next I have Scream which is also on Netflix I watched that uh, week by week when that came out i saw the advert for it and they had like tyler posey in it and i was like "Ooh!" but he wasn't in it false advertising <laughs> um it's just about a group of teenagers in high school but there's a killer if you've watched the scream films it's basically that but in tv form and it is just very much like who could the killer be kind of thing i'd love that kind of stuff so much and not as amazing i would give it like a 7 out of 10 it was all right to watch but I wouldn't particularly want to watch it again, if that makes sense. Next written down, I have Bates Motel. Oh my god, I love Bates Motel. It's one of my favourite TV programmes. It is about, you, if you've heard of Psycho, which is a Hitchcock film, very, very famous. I'd be surprised if you haven't heard of it. Um, it is about Norman Bates as a teenage boy. It's about Norma, Norman Bates and his mum Norma Bates and they live in a motel together, a hence Bates motel. Very mysterious, suspenseful, it's a little tiny bit of love in it and stuff like that but it's very much based around you don't know what is going to happen. It's very much like what? Oh my god and I love that stuff so much. Like I get so into it, I watched it so quickly. Some people think it's kind of like a horror thing, it's nothing to do with horror, so if you are scared of things, I would say 
it's okay. The first episode though, I must warn you, it does have a rape scene, so if you're not comfortable with that, then I would... You can't exactly skip the first episode, but I would definitely skip that scene, and just to warn you, it is in there. Um, but after that, there's no more, like, scenes like that. That did put me off, but honestly, just get past through that, and it's such a good TV program that you will honestly not be able to stop watching it. I'll definitely give Bates Motel, like, a 10 out of 10. And the final one I have is How to Get Away with Murder, which is such a good TV program. I keep saying this, but it's so good. I got really into that, and I watched it so quickly. It's about a group of, like students who are learning to be a I don't know what they're called you know when you're in court and they're like my defendant yeah one of those the teacher brings on a few people to actually like help her and loads of stuff happens it's very intense tiny bit of romance again but it's just more about the intense stuff and who killed that person and it's very much like murder mystery kind of stuff. I love that stuff so much, so I would definitely recommend go watch that. Yeah, I would probably give it a 9 out of 10. 10 out of 10. It's very good. I really, really enjoy it. So those are the programs I actually, like, watched almost completely through, apart from The Vampire Diaries. The other ones I've written down are the ones that I have watched and have not liked at all, which is Supernatural, Walking Dead, Games of Thrones, Orange is the New Black, One Tree Hill, and Orphan Black. So those are the ones do not recommend to me because I did not enjoy them. I tried, but I just, they're not my thing. Don't really like them at all. So I probably will give them like a one out of, or two out of 10. <laughs> but it depends what you like. because they're very much more gory, disgusting stuff. As, as you can tell, I like high school cringy stuff. Um, but yeah, that is it for my TV program video. I know this is probably going to be the longest video ever and I'm really sorry. I'm just very passionate about my TV programs and I've watched a lot of them. But if you could tell me any other TV programs which you really think are worth the watch, which I have talked about, um, that are very similar, then please list them down below because I really, really want to um, watch a new TV program and get into another one. I will list every TV program I mentioned in the description in case you've forgotten one of the names of something I've mentioned. And... Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you do want to see more from me because I upload many times on this channel and I upload many different things. All my social media links are in the description as always if you've ever wanted to know and hopefully I will see you again very soon.